You know, many, many people are asking, what does this you know, space mission and the experiments uh, you know, there have to do with me and my life? But a lot of these research uh, have something to do with uh, basic research, right? Yes, uh, we, we have to understand better. Uh, we, we, the knowledge that we accumulate is uh, from the grants uh, itself. So we have always considered the microgravity or environment as one of the environment that we have to validate and to demonstrate new technologies, such as uh, fluid dynamics, such as combustion in outer space, and even biologically to see the difference between uh, plants and animals and how they behave in outer space. These are all uh, new areas that we want to uh, witness or to de uh, demonstrate and test by ourselves. Uh, we have done the uh, crystal pro uh, protein crystallization year, decades back with uh, the return capsule. And along that, we also had the seeding program, which is to expose the, the agricultural seeds in outer space and to, to bring it back and cultivate and see if there is a better harvest. So everything is connected to outer space, not to mention some of the infrastructures that we're using in daily life, including navigations and telecommunications. Uh, we, we have been taken granted for those facilities, uh, like using our cell phones to, to know the locations and to travel. So without a, a GPS and navigation system, everything will be blacked. So uh, we'll be blocked. So we are. Uh, we, we we always have a saying that if you switch off space facility for one day, you would lose everything. You lose the weather forecast. You you lose the telecommunication. You lose navigation, and basically you're blind people.